Right. Well, according to a statement by the Ministry of Interior, the security officials were run over by a car. Uh, the spokesman for the National Guard gave more details, uh, saying that the attackers got out of the car uh, and stabbed the guardsmen that they had run over and then took their guns. Uh, a medical source has confirmed that they were indeed stabbed. Uh, National Guard units then searched uh, for the people who were in the car, found them, had what they called an exchange of fire, and killed uh, three people who say that, who they say were involved in the attack on the National Guardsmen. Um, just in the last few minutes, we've heard that a fourth person was uh, arrested on suspicion of involvement, um, and the Prime Minister apparently is heading to the scene as well. Uh, but right now, all we have is the official version of events. Uh, security officials are calling the attackers uh, terrorists, but for the moment, we have no evidence of this group targeting civilians or of having any connection to, to other armed groups. And I mentioned the high-profile attack in Sousse back in 2015, but there have been other attacks in Tunisia since then. How big is the threat from extremists in Tunisia? Well, this incident does appear to follow a familiar pattern that we've seen in, in recent years, uh, specifically targeting and killing uh, state security officials or, or forces. Uh, in March of this year, there were two suicide bombers who uh, uh, killed a security official and injured five others uh, just outside of the U.S. Embassy in the capital of Tunis. Um, in June 2019, two suicide bombers killed one policeman and injured nine others in downtown Tunis after they attacked uh, two police posts. Um, and in October, October 2018, near the same spot in downtown Tunis, another suicide bomber targeted and injured several police officers. So there does appear to be a pattern of, uh, appearing in the last several years. Fadil Aliweza, thank you very much.